Hey, I'm Jordan with Lily White Designs, and today, per request, I'm going to be starting a Sewing 101 series. Today, I'll be showing you guys how to thread your machine, also thread the bobbin, and then just some basic troubleshooting for your machine. So, here we go. Okay, so I admit getting a new machine can be scary. And the first thing that you need to do is look over your manual. It's really important. I know I'm not a huge direction reader, so it's hard for me sometimes, but if your sewing machine comes with a book, it's going to be your best friend. And often I would pick up machines at yard sales. Sometimes they would come with a manual and sometimes they aren't. Um, but the good thing about it is with the internet you can ba basically Google your machine model number and the brand that it is. And a lot of times there's tutorials like this one showing you how to thread it or uh, basic things like that. So if you have the manual, you can just look. Um, it'll be under basic functions or preparations for sewing and threading the needle. Um, it'll show you basically where you're going to go, where you're going to start, all that kind of stuff. And then also there's a section there for threading your bobbin. So first I'm going to show you guys how to thread your needle. Every sewing machine is different, so as I thread this one, don't think that it'll be the exact same for yours. But all machines have the same basic functions. There's going to be a needle that your spool of thread goes on. So make sure that that is in the middle of your spool of thread, there's a hole. And that's going to go straight on your um, thread needle. And then it'll always go to the left towards your needle. Mine has a tension disc in the back that the thread has to go through. My machine also has arrows that show me which direction that my thread needs to go as I'm threading it. And then a lot of times it'll go down and then be caught in another tension disc under here. And um, a common problem that you'll have if you'll miss any of these, you're, whenever you're sewing your thread, it'll tend to loop. So if you're having that problem, um, chances are that you're not quite threaded correctly. Uh, another problem that will have is your bobbin thread will knot up as you sew. So if you're having some of those problems, just completely unthread it and start from the beginning. Um, a lot of times there'll be a little hook close to the needle that holds your thread straight. And then, um, yeah, then you just go right through the needle, and that's for the up. Now for threading your bobbin, you're going to need a spool of thread and then the either metal or plastic bobbin that comes with your machine. It's important that you don't switch out bobbins for mach different machines. Um, they're all really specific to the model of machine that you have, so um, if you're having problems that you can't figure out, um, be sure to Google online what type of bobbins your machine takes and make sure you're using the right kind. Okay, first you're going to thread up through one of the holes in your bobbin. That's how you're going to start, uh, making sure that it goes up and not down. So uh, you're going to go up through the middle hole, and then the remainder of your thread is going to hang out the top. Like I said, all machines kind of do this a little bit differently, but there'll be something that your bobbin goes onto, a rotating area. The, the uh, motor of your machine is going to turn. So, and then also, there'll be a tension disc that will hold the thread as you're, as you're uh, filling up your bobbin so that you don't get, you know, really loose bobbin on your thread, but it stays tight. Uh, mine just has a button that you push, and it'll fill the bobbin until it's full. A lot of times, the side wheel will pop out. That way, holding, that way you're needle doesn't go up and down as you're filling up your bobbin, but it'll still, the, the motor's still working to turn your bobbin to fill it up. Once that's full, you'll just disconnect your thread, and that goes in the bobbin case. It'll be under your feed dog on your machine. It's a little pull on it that you just can grab onto and pull it out, and you're going to just put your bobbin in the bobbin casing. There's a post in the middle that'll go through the hole of your bobbin. And then you're going to pull your thread. There's a small, um, a small slit on the side of your bobbin case. And your thread just goes right through there. And then it'll slide behind the square tension. Once that you have your upper area of your machine threaded correctly and your bobbin incorrectly, you should be able to sew a smooth straight line without any knotting, bunching, or looping in your thread. Uh, if you're still having problems, I would just recommend, like I said, Googling your model number and brand of machine. You should get some information from other folks out there who have the same model as you. I have a Bernina B330, so for all of you Bernina lovers out there, I hope this helps.